said this before, but my husband does not have as much clothing as I do. That's probably the scenario for some of you watching this as well. I have actually taken over this entire dresser. I've offered for him to have some drawers in here. I actually have some that are not full. I have one that's completely empty that we've put our bedding into. So we have extra sheets and stuff in one of the drawers here, but he is able to put all of his stuff in the closet. He has some shelves in there as well, and that's all he needs. So I've taken over this whole thing. I wanna show you what's in each drawer and how I decided to organize it. Up at the top here, I like to put my most used items as well as some smaller items, if that makes sense, because it's pretty easy and accessible for me to have things up here. It's right at my height, as well as the fact that these drawers are half the size of all of the other drawers. So smaller items fit best in here. In the first drawer, I have all of my underwear, as well as in the back, I have some tights and shapewear. I put those at the back because I don't wear them as often, and obviously underwear I'm wearing every day. Then in the next drawer, I have more structured bras, as well as some sticky bras in the back there again the back sticky bras I use on special occasions if I'm wearing a specific dress or something the next drawer over I have my more comfortable bras bralettes all of that type of stuff while I was breastfeeding I had all of my nursing bras in there because they're again more of that comfortable bra so it made sense for me to have them in here and I also have all of my camis and tank tops that I wear under shirts in this drawer as well and then last but not least this drawer here I have all of my socks I put my athletic socks forward because those I'm wearing year round all the time. I like having those easily accessible. And then this section has half athletic, half of my long winter socks. I have all of the rest of my winter socks here, some specialty socks. I have little nylons because I am or used to be a competitive figure skater. And when I go skating, this is what I wear. So I have those in here. I do still like to try and do that every now and then. And then at the way back, they're nice and big and bulky. I have all of my fuzzy socks and I have four pairs of those. So those are all in the back there. And then let's look at the rest of the dresser. So on this side, I have all of my pajamas. I have my favorite pajamas over here. They are from Nordstrom. I've talked about them before. I've decluttered a bunch of other pajamas in favor of these. I have the nightgown version and the shorts and short sleeve version as well, but the long sleeved are my favorite. If you struggle to find pajama pants that are long enough for you, these are great, they don't ride up. They are just a classic pajama that button down the front, have a little pocket. So I have them in gray and navy and in black. I have an older pair of more um, of a lightweight pajama. And then the next row I have pajama pants and some other pajama sets. And then the last row here, I have my short sleeve pajamas. I have a couple pajama rompers and nightgowns. And then I also have some intimate items in here as well down in the next drawer this is where i start having all of my athletic clothing again the way i'm thinking about things as i organize them pajamas i'm wearing pretty often every night so those are accessible for me as well and then i start to think this is like the side that i access the most keeping it all organized that way works really well i have all of my workout tops organized by color here the first two sections are all of my tops, short sleeves and tank tops, as well as a couple of long sleeve workout tops. I don't have many of them. Then I have all of my workout or sports bras here. And then my athletic and workout jackets are the last section. So everything that goes on top in a workout scenario fits perfectly in one drawer. And then right below that, I have all of my workout bottoms. So it goes tops, the bottoms, tops are above bottoms makes sense in my brain, whatever makes sense in your brain is what's going to work best. All the way over on this far end, I have all of my bottoms, mostly cropped leggings. That's what I really like to wear. Those are the colorful ones in that first section. Then I have all of my black leggings. It is usually pretty full. I have a few pairs that are in the wash right now. I'm wearing a pair right now. Um, and then I have a couple of pairs of sweatpants here or joggers. 
And then I also have all of my shorts here. I have so many pairs of shorts, but in the summer I live in them. When I exercise, I can wear like multiple pairs of shorts a day because I'll work out in one and then hang out in another. So all of the workout bottoms, again, all of the workout tops, each fit in a drawer perfectly. And you'll see it's not stuffed in here. There's lots of room to breathe. Over on this side, the first large drawer here, I have a lot of different things. It starts to feel a little bit more miscellaneous on this side. I have all of my pants in the first two rows. So that's some colored jeans, some of the Spanx faux leather leggings. I love these. I actually have them in this almost like a purpley gray color as well as the classic black. Wear those all the time in the winter. Followed by regular jeans. And then this next section is black, gray, banks, black leggings, as well as a couple pairs of white jeans. Then the next row over, I have a few pairs of shorts. I'm not a huge fan of more structured or jean shorts. If I'm gonna wear shorts in the summer, I wear athletic shorts. Or if I have to wear something when it's really hot, I oftentimes just opt for a dress. Then I have all of my t-shirts and I want to show you, I have able, been able to declutter my collection. These are the only t-shirts I own now. It used to be a much different scenario. And then all the way over on the right here, I have my swimsuits, which I've also pared down a bunch. I know there's still a lot of them, but I am oftentimes traveling to California where my grandparents are, my parents are for the winter and going swimming there a lot. Owen takes swim classes and I hop in the pool with him a lot. So it's nice to have a few different options. The next drawer down is all of my sweatshirts and long sleeve tops. So mostly non-athletic, but sometimes I wear them as a workout accessory on top of a tank top. But honestly, there's one, two, three, four, five long sleeve tops in there, not too many. And then I have a few sweatshirts. It's not stuffed in here again, like I said. I think I probably have one or two of them that are in the wash. But something that's really nice is having these little bamboo dividers in here. You'll see they're on some pretty extreme tension. They hold really tight, but the nice thing is you can sure have noticed that I opt for file folding. And a lot of times people ask like if it's not fully stuffed in here, if things are just gonna flop over and topple over, for the most part they don't. If you are doing a nice neat fold, they actually do stay where they're supposed to stay. You could, if you wanted to, I have seen, and I've actually tried it before myself, put a little bookend in your drawer if you really wanted them to stay upright, upright. But for the most part, you'll see, even if you have some breathing room in your drawers, they stand upright with the file folding method and it makes it a lot easier to grab what you're looking for without knocking everything else over. So if I just wanna grab like, okay, this white shirt, I didn't disrupt the folding of everything else. I was just able to grab exactly what I wanted and keep it nice and neat and orderly, which helps so much because nobody wants to be refolding their clothing. So that is that. And then the bottom drawer, like I said, I keep um, our extra sheets and linens. So that is all of my clothing. I know it was kind of a rapid fire tour of everything, but I also know you guys like to see inside of all of my spaces, know how I organize it. Maybe it gives you some ideas for your space. If it did and you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below what space you wanna see next. I did kind of a while ago an organized bathroom tour. So I will link that in the description box as well if you wanna see that. Maybe we could do my kitchen, my laundry room. I think it's pretty organized. So that would be a fun one to do, but let me know what spaces you wanna see and I will get those filmed. But until next time, I will see you guys later.